that I'm very, very proud of the Afghan security forces, uh, that they continue to get better every day, and that the Afghan people should be very proud that they have men and women that volunteer under very, very tough circumstances to support uh, their country and uh, under very, very great sacrifice to themselves and their families. The second thing is there shouldn't be any question in your mind or the Afghan people's mind that resolute support, NATO with over 40 countries, um, the United States is here to stay uh, to provide assistance and to train, advise, and assist and support because of this national unity government, because the president signed a BSA and a SOFA to continue to have this commitment. Um, you know, Afghanistan has to work on a lot of things, and one of them is the economy, and President Ghani and Dr. Abdullah are trying to get after that. That's going to take years. In the meantime, Afghanistan needs the help of the international donors. And, uh, you know, they'll continue to have that as long as they have a national unity government that welcomes them. And they didn't have that in the past. And I think, again, we're in a much better place. So Afghan security forces continue to get better. They need the support of the people. International uh, community continues to stay committed to Afghanistan over many, many years. And then again, on the national unity government, this is the only way to go, right? There is no other choice. There is no other better way. And there are forces out there, as I read, as I see, as I hear, that are working against the national unity government. And if you're working against the national unity government, you're working against the people of Afghanistan. And you're working against a better future for Afghanistan. So I would hope the people that are out there uh, that don't support the national unity government uh, understand how decisive and disruptive uh, they can be for uh, the young men and women here in Afghanistan that want a better future for their lives. So I'm committed here, and I am, I am humbled and honored to have the opportunity to serve alongside my Afghan partners, and I thank you for taking the time.